Hi guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to run over with you foot moments and the foot stars that you can gain FIFA 23. It's unique, it's new and we'll see what they do bring and my opinions on it. All that shenanigans. Let's get into the video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new and please comment in the comment section below. My Twitter is in the description. Make sure to go follow me on there. Give me a quick follow. Ask me any questions. Do all that business. So basically foot moments. He's new single player in Ultimate Team. 23 Foot Moments is our new single player experience. Bring a new way to play for Ultimate Team and our rewards. Foot Moments is focused on fun, short scenarios, and variety of challenges. In Foot Moments, you will earn a new currency type called Foot Stars. These are your Foot Stars right here, guys. As you can see there, you're next to your FIFA Points coins. FIFA Points are now your Foot Stars. We'll get into those in a second, guys. Deliver a new mode that offers a wide variety of challenges. Provide a shorter match experience than our other game modes and other unique gameplay skill levels for, for foot players with a variety of difficulties. Create a progression and a reward system that gives players a new control of choice. So basically, this is the um, the page that you will most likely be on when you're in the the foot moments. Like you can earn 72 stars. He's already earned one. He's got 240 days for this. So yeah, it looks like to me there is a lot of stars, but they need to keep updating this. Like, if there is a foot stars, like, reward system, they need to update them. They can't just leave it the same all year. Because you remember that that in season progress when they used to have, oh, choose choose um, Rude Hullet or choose Zidane. And then it took, like, two weeks for, like, the poll and people to complete the challenges. And then you got, wow, a premium gold pack. Like, no one wants that sort of stuff, man. You will see start each match day by selecting a story. Each story will be based on see, seasonal themes, foot campaigns, or, re or real life events. So basically, if someone scores a banger in real life, you will probably get to score a banger. And you'll have chapters as well, early career, rising star, and star status. Each story is made up of chapters, theme groups, and player contain the moments themselves. You will always start with at least one chapter unlocked in a story while others will be locked, requiring you to create a sp specific amount of foot stars from the unlocked. Yeah, ba basically guys, most of this will be locked until you until you finish your one. So it's basically like objectives um, where you'll do the first objective, then the second, then the third, then the fourth. Let's skip through this. Let's get to the uh, stars. Stars are what we want to talk about. Foot stars and rewards. Progressing in foot moments earns you foot stars, a new currency that can be exchanged in the foot in the moment star gallery for rewards. Foot stars do not expire and will be able to use them in foot season. So basically, guys, you can collect these all year and they won't expire. There are two ways to earn foot stars. Completing moments, increasing the real world level. Increasing the reward level will reward you with more foot stars, right? Okay. You can earn foot stars for a reward level only once, but you are able to complete. I don't understand why you would, why you would go in it again, but once you've got the star, don't do it again. Completing all moments on the associate, associated reward levels within a chapter will earn a group reward. So basically, when you complete them all, you'll get a group reward, which is nice. At the end of the moment, you'll see which challenges you have completed and if you are successful and how many stars you have earned. So as you can see here, Six stars, seven stars, balance, and you just basically just gained one star from that challenge. Foot star gallery. Now this is what I'm most interested in. Now that we've completed several moments and have some foot stars, let's head to the foot star gallery. Here we'll find a variety of rewards available year round as well as some rewards available for a limited time. This rewards available for only a limited time is what I'm very very interested in because we can get right into it basically this is the star gap the star gallery let's say that some moments may require that you use specific players like killing Mbappe to it basically they'll they'll basically give you a loan if you need that so yeah as you can see Mbappe here is free and then you've got some packs here 24 what I've seen from like the early releases of the game and like dra draft in the beta and stuff like that they're not very good they are not very good like if if ea sports are only giving us packs to redeem with our foot stars i think it's a bit of a letdown because we get packs in other ways we get packs in squad battles we get packs in division rivals we get packs in the foot champs playoffs we get packs in the foot champs as well so i urge you guys if you're still here for this video 
Don't spend these foot, foot stars on packs, please. We'll get into that. Just don't spend them on packs. Because when they say things might be only there for a limited time, they could add such things as players. We'll get into that. I've got another game to show you as well that has a similar thing as well. I think they stole it off. But if they add players into this, you don't want to be spending any foot stars. I am going to do every single challenge in the foot moments and keep all my stars. I will keep them all year. Because you imagine, they might add something like, let's say the UEFA Champions League group stage team has just come out. They might add a pack for that. You might need 500 stars to get, to get one of those players. That will be big. Do not spend these foot stars. And we've just gone over the pitch notes. We'll head over to NBA 2K23 and I will show you why you don't spend them. Okay, guys, now we're on NBA 2K23. This game got released basically two days ago. And you're probably wondering why. Why are we on this on a FIFA channel? Because of foot stars. This is why. I want to show you why foot stars. So basically, in NBA 2K, they have a token market. As you can, as you can see in the top right, you'll have like a, a little token icon where it says 8. You'll have an MT icon, which is basically your coins. And you'll have VC, which is basically your FIFA points. We want to concentrate on the tokens. Okay. So basically, you can earn tokens by playing the game. Any game mode, you can earn tokens, and you can you, you can reward yourself with players. So this is these are like packs, but you can pick specific players from these teams. So if you want to pick a player from the LA Clippers, you need 20 tokens. This is a starter, so there's only five starters on an NBA team, right? So in FIFA, if they did this, it'll be 11 players, and then you'll have a bench of seven. But it's a bench of 10 in this case. I'll show you. So go to my collection here, Series 1. I've completed the Chicago Bulls, so I've collected all the Chicago Bulls players because it's some sort of challenge you need to do in this game. So basically, I've spent, I want to say around 65 tokens on getting all of these players. Probably more, probably about 100 tokens on getting all of these players. This is why I say to you guys, do not spend your foot stars because I've got a feeling they're going to add players or something like that. Don't, don't just get... 50 and open some packs with them it's a way you get packs in other ways on fifa in sbcs and everything so don't earn don't earn your foot stars and spend them straight away keep them because they're going to add something crazy in them because it's a new feature surely so just like nba it's very similar to nba with their token system they'll add players eventually trust me so yeah this is just me showing you that ea stole this basically from M nba and obviously nba have taken some stuff out of them but the token system is basically the foot star system in nba it's been your boy share nights please like comment and subscribe i'm out y'all peace